everybody. Sorry we don't have an episode this week. We'll be back next week. April Fools! Welcome to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Let's go see Steve. Oh, Johnny! Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Johnny, the movie that I want to talk to you about today is Jean Tierney in Leave Her to Heaven, 1945. It got Jean Tierney her only Oscar nomination as Best Actress, and it's an incredible thriller. Now, Leave Her to Heaven was the big bestseller of the 1940s, and Daryl F. Zanuck decided to buy this novel up and make a sumptuous, all-epic movie out of it. So he got Leon Shamroy to shoot it in breathtaking Technicolor, the first film noir shot in Technicolor color and it won Shamroy the Oscar. Leave It to Heaven is essentially a story of a psychopath <laughs> and he to cast this movie he put lovely and talented Jean Tierney. Now Jean Tierney at the time was married to Ole Cassini. She'd had a big hit with Laura the previous year which was a film noir with Dana Andrews and Clifton Webb. When she was making this movie her first daughter had just been born and was born severely brain damaged and it made her crazy and she channeled it into this part. I'll never let you go Richard. It's a story of a woman who is obsessively jealous of anybody that comes near the man that she's in love with, who's played by Cornell Wilde, who is... <laughs> God, he's so gorgeous! She gets in the way of anything that comes between them. I don't want anybody else but me to do anything for you. Including his brother, played by Daryl Hickman, in an unforgettable scene on the lake that has gone down in cinema history as being one of the most startling things filmed in the 1940s. She had a notorious love affair with Jack Kennedy, but he threw her over because he told her that he was gonna be the first Catholic president and he couldn't marry a divorced woman. I don't see how you can say such a thing. It's true just the same. By the mid 1950s, Jean Tierney was in big, big, big trouble and eventually she started having mental blackouts and she was put into Meningers, which is a big uh, mental hospital out in the Midwest, and she had electroshock treatments and it was a very, very bad time for her. As a form of rehabilitation, Meningers would put people back into easy jobs, so they put her in Denver as a, as a uh, checkout person in a department store, and this one day this man came up to her and he said, uh, uh, Eugene Tyranny, and she said, yes, I am, and he said, well, uh, my name is Howard Lee, and I was married to Hedy Lamar in the 40s. And it turned out he was like one of the, like the fifth richest oil men in Texas. And he married her and he swept her off to Houston and she lived the rest of her life there. This is a movie with Gene Crane, who almost played Eve Harrington in All About Eve, and was also known as the Great Virgin at 20th Century Fox, which was kind of ironic. She married this one guy and she had like eight or nine kids. She kept popping them out, popping them out, popping them out. I've got a kink in my neck. Gene Tierney, who was filming a movie, her comeback movie for Out of Preminger was called Advise and Consent, and Kennedy was in the White House and he had the whole company come and have dinner uh, at the White House, and she sat next to Jack Kennedy. and. They hadn't seen each other since he had broken up with her, and, and he said, turned to her and he said, um, how are you, Jean? And she said, I'm fine, Jack. I have a man who loves me even when I'm crazy. And so uh, it ended happily for her. And she is just, to me, the most gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous woman uh, in Technicolor you will ever see. Jean Tierney, leave her to heaven. I'm telling you, it's a killer. Uh, let's all go to the light. Oh, oh. Treat. Delicious things to eat. <laughs>